Seems the fog will sit tonight. Good thing I've already saved Nanako chan. Save real quick. TV in the room, yes, of course. It's midnight. The fog is set in. Appearing on the Midnight Channel. Nanako has been rescued and you were able to arrest the culprit. Fog is covering the town. from yesterday is still there this morning. Oh, there he is! Take a look at this. Namatame is in today's paper. Front page of the headline article says that Namatame has regained consciousness. Today, before the owner, the suspect Taro Yamatame had uh, been confined in a hosp local hospital, regained consciousness. In response to the police questioning, he testified that he is sorry for what he has done and was scared. From here on, the police are hoping to solve the entire case based on the suspect's disposition. So it's finally over. Yeah, seriously. I wish we could have done it sooner. <sighs> Isn't the fog kind of thick this morning? And it's so chilly. <sighs> it rarely gets this cold in November. Oh, it's you guys. Perfect timing. I just got a call from the hospital. They said that starting today, it's okay to visit Nanako-chan. Yay! So she's getting a little better. Thank goodness! Oh, is that today's paper? So you already know about him. Two counts of kidnappings and murder and five counts of attempted murder. Those are serious crimes. I think it'll go down in history as one of the worst sprees in Japan. Yeah. He's still mentally unstable, but we're slowly piecing together his story. This is still a secret, but I guess it's okay to tell you guys. You know that diary we found? There were entries about Miss Yamano and Miss Konishi in it. Looks like Namatame had been making advances on Miss Konishi. Uh, well, I'm gonna head to the hospital now. Dojima-san's recovering too, so I need to go over a few things about this case with him. Hmm. Yosuke. Sorry. I'm alright. Namatame's been caught. He can't hurt anyone now. But forget him. 
Let's all go visit Nanako-chan after school. Of course. Let's tell the others once we get to school. Just a reminder, the finals are next week. Why are you familiar with Othello? The game playing at Shakespeare's play. I'm kind of familiar with it. Nanako, everyone's here to see you. <laughs> Big bro. Talking still seems painful for her. None of the list, Nanako looks happy. Dojima-san! Ugh, how many times does this make it today? I understand that you're worried about your daughter, but you still need your rest, too. <clears throat> Sorry. Um, are your injuries that bad? Mm. Well, my wounds have just closed up, and it seems I have a couple of fractures as well. Damn. I'm sorry. I'll wheel him back to his room immediately. What are you apologizing for? It's almost time for your checkup, so make sure you're back in your room before then. There's cracking that whip. Quatch. Big bro. <laughs> Stay here. John? At least she's okay. Her condition is stable for now, but uh, I never thought I'd say this as a doctor, but we still can't figure out the cause of Nanako chan's symptoms. That's why we can only administer temporary treatments to alleviate her current pains. But she's not in danger anymore, is she? She's regained consciousness, but we can't let our guard down yet. All we can do for now is to monitor her condition closely. <sighs> Adachi, how's it going with Namatame? Well, he's awake now, but he's in no condition to tell us anything useful. We only get a little time each day to interrogate him, so we're stuck until his strength recovers. I see. I should get back to work as soon as possible. Hopefully by then, Nanako will be out of the hospital. Um, I think Nanako-chan can get more peace and quiet if she stays here. It's so foggy out, and there's been some weird rumors going around. Seems like no one knows why there's so much fog in town. <coughs> it's true. The number of patients complaining about fog-related health problems has increased. 
which is quite unusual. I can't say for sure that it has no effect on the human body. It certainly could be a psychological effect. People's anxiety over the fog could cause problems. But as far as the fog's chemical makeup, well, that's not my field, so I can only speculate. What concerns me is that transportation of our medical supplies has been delayed due to the fog. Fog-related health problems. Oh, that's just ridiculous. Anyone who says that is just blowing smoke. Isn't this weather strange? How could it be lasting so long? I've never seen anything like it. I wonder what's causing it. It's so creepy. I heard that a friend of mine's son got sick from the fog and collapsed. You know how sensitive children are to that sort of thing. I heard something too. They say an old man was driving through the fog and got into an accident. What? Did he lose control? Well, he'd never been in an accident or even gotten a ticket before, so something seems off. Isn't that scary? I've even heard there are experts saying it's poisonous. I wonder if that's true. Do you think it's, you know, because of that global warming thing? This town's changed a lot over the years. I wish the government would step in and do something about this. Oh, I agree completely. If we're going to pay taxes, I expect the authorities to do their jobs. The fog is poison! It's a gas filled with viruses! Don't inhale the fog or you'll die! It's fucking Psycho Manus, what the hell? What the hell's he doing in my game? He's not the first one like that I've seen lately. Poisonous gas, though? Oh, I'm sure it's not true. Oh. Hmm. Is something wrong? Oh my, I... I think I'm coming down with something. You... you can't be serious. <laughs> oh, that's right, I needed to do some grocery shopping. Well then... Oh, she's just gonna leave her, huh? What the hell? Business has been so slow lately. <coughs> Is that what you do when somebody's like, you're like, I don't get it. Is that like what people do? Just like, oh God, I feel sick. They're like, oh God, I need to go do some grocery shopping. Excuse me. Run the fuck off. What the hell? I'll send you a postcard or some shit, I guess, huh? Yeah. Yeah, law. Peace!